you know, it's, it's, I, I think it's not, the, the connecting the next billion shouldn't be an end game uh, as such. When you look at the connection and the connectivity uh, challenges that are found in some places, uh, the main problem to start with are the basic services. So you're looking at access to water, you're looking at food, but you're also looking at electricity being one of the first things. So I would say any device that accesses the internet has to use electricity. First thing, develop a reliable and affordable source of energy and at that point, you will be able to have much easier access. We've seen that the majority of growth of the internet today has been through mobile devices, telephones that are low cost and that are quite rugged for the type of terrain to be used in. Uh, as far as the uh, logistics are concerned and the actual backbone network is concerned, of course, there are some parts of the planet that are not covered at all with any services, but the cost of technology is decreasing. And so I see a rosy future for this. Yes, it's not going to be easy. We've got the easiest part, you know, the three billion. In fact, when, when I started calculating or, or you know, seeing the, the statistics, the first billion, well, the first billion were just the people that were making the darn thing happen. Then the second billion was the ones who said, well, you know, we want to be customers. The third billion, ah, they're not all customers. And now the next billion is really, you shouldn't look at them as customers, you should look at them as users, not as someone who's going to buy things from uh, services, but someone who's going to use that for good, for themselves, for their development. And that's an important vector. They need to have that for their own growth, and we need to help them in being able to obtain that. Uh, because otherwise you're going to see a, a world that will have an increase in shift between the haves and the have-nots. And that's really something that is not going to be sustainable as far as world stability is concerned.